top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on Timpers there? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a pixel art, Twitch alert in Photoshop, um, not animated. Um, I'm going to do a part two where I'll show you how to animate it. I'm just going to show you how to do the actual image itself in Photoshop today. So yeah, it's very easy to do and it looks really cool. You guys are enjoying the pixel art stuff at the moment. So I'm going to do a lot more. Um, so yeah, can we break 100 likes in this video? If we do, I'll release a template down below that you guys will be able to download for free. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new to not so you don't miss any of my videos also I stream at 7 p.m. guys um, UK time so make sure you come to them I do that every day and with that all being said let's just get on into the video right guys so we are here in Photoshop so yeah this is what we will be making in today's video it's very very clean just pixelated um, twitch alert you guys can put whatever text you want on there um, so yeah it's very simple and let's just get straight on into it if you guys want me to do another um, part two of this where i show you guys like how to animate it uh, let me know down below hit the like button if we break 100 likes as well i will release these templates um, i might make a better version um, but yeah if we just break 100 likes i will be releasing a template for these you guys will be able to download for free so yeah um, first thing you want to do is go to file new and open up a 1920 by 1080 document like so then what you want to do is, um, let's just change the background first so we can see what we're doing. Just make it like a dark color instead of white. Um, and then you want to go to image, image size and bring it down to 192 by 108 and make sure it's on nearest neighbor hard edges. Like so. Then you want to add a new layer and go to the pencil tool. Make sure it's on one pixel and we're just going to uh, choose a colour, I'm just going to choose like a light blue and let's just make the shape that we want to create so we don't want to make it too big what we're going to do is, as you can see on the design, it's like slanted so we'll be able to do that very easily all I just want to do is just keep clicking diagonally until you reach a point where you just want to stop so let's just do it like that and then hold down shift and click where you want it to end so um, that could be fine um, so yeah once you've done that we're just gonna do the exact same but on the other side I will zoom in like so but you guys do enjoy the pixel art um, tutorials you've been giving some awesome feedback so I'll definitely do more stuff like this and planning and doing a lot of stream sort of um, designs tutorials so yeah Hold down shift and click and drag it across. So now you've got that. Then what you want to do is just fill it in by holding down, press down G on the keyboard and then just click. And then you've got that. And I'm just going to actually fill that in like so. So now you've got that, it looks very nice. Well, it doesn't look very nice, it's just, <laughs> this is a shape. Um, but you, want to go, you want to go to gradient overlay and make sure it's coming in from 180 degrees and set it to overlay and just make sure it's like 50% or something and then change it to inner glow as well so now you've got that and then you just want to rasterize it so that's already looking really cool and you can just add text onto that and it'll look nice but we're just gonna um, add a bit more a few more details to it so you want to go down to the color and choose a really light version of the color you're using it doesn't have to be blue and just click in the corner and then move across a little bit and just um, we just need to like fade it out so these two part um, pixels there and then move across again and then press there and to there then move across again and just keep doing that until you want to finish so we're adding like a little shine effect at the bottom left and then we're going to do the exact same on the other side um, so yeah but once you've done a few I like to just drag it out a bit further so it's fading out oops 
like so, until you get to the other side. And then finally, just one more, maybe. So yeah, that looks really cool, just a little shine effect at the bottom. And then you can do the exact same in the top right. Um, so we'll just choose a really dark blue. Add a new layer. Press once in the top right and then move it up this time. And just do the exact same but at the top. And this just, it makes it less boring and it looks very cool. It's, if you watched yesterday's tutorial, it's sort of like how we made the shine effects on the text. It's very easy once you get the hang of it. So just keep moving it up. But yeah, like I said, you can use any colour you want with this. And it's uh, very useful to know like the key commands and stuff. Obviously you guys definitely know Control Z and all that sort of stuff, but um, shortcuts like um, B for the pencil tool or brush tool and then E for the eraser, so that's like really, really useful. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, you can add more stuff to it if you want, but um, what I actually did on this one was I added little particles, like small little pixels that are faded. So I just like pressed in random places, like so, and it just makes it look like it's sort of shining. So something like that, and you can set it to overlay, or you can just bring down the opacity of it. I'm going to do both. So that looks really nice. And then if you look at this, it's like a, another section at the bottom, just to add just a little accent that looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is just choose a dark color and uh, we'll just group everything together add a new layer below it and we're just gonna add a little section like so just copy what I'm doing right here and then you want to hold down shift and well let's just bring the ruler in hold down shift and press why did it do? for some reason when you bring a ruler it like doesn't press where you want to press it. Let's do it ourselves. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold down shift and just drag across until you want to finish it. And then another section like so. And then you get that. That looks really cool. You can like be creative and do whatever you want there. I think I'll just leave it like this. Something like that. Maybe not have that. That looks fine to me. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, you want to add some shadows and stuff just to bring it to life because it looks a bit out of place right now. So I'm going to choose like a really dark blue and add a new layer. Just add a shadow there and then also here. And then I'm going to go to a really lighter blue and because the light's coming from the bottom left you want to do the exact same. And I'm not going to like do the whole thing but um, you guys get the idea. You just want to make sure it's all faded. Obviously I'd add more spot different pixel colours and I've added a darker one there to make it look like it's faded and then a darker place over there. And then, as well, have a lighter area down in the bottom left. And you just want to make sure it's just faded out and stuff. But that looks pretty cool to me. Then once you've done that, you want to go to image, image size, bring it back up to 1920 by 1080. And now you can add the text that you want to add. Um, the font I used in this is called Pixel Bug, I believe. Yeah, it's called Pixel Bug. And yeah, just put in like new follower and I, I found that the best color is probably white stuff like this um, so yeah 
you're gonna make sure it's white, new, like so. That's not white, that's white. And just uh, place it in the middle. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you know, if you break 100 likes, I'll release the uh, templates. Um, and you'll be able to change the text and the colours and anything, you can edit it to your likings. Um, but yeah, if you want to see an animated version of this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, uh, I do stream at 7pm UK time every day, so make sure you come to them. And yeah, hope you're all having a sick day today, and I'll see you in the next video.